steeped with mining history, Swedish culture, and one of the largest cave-ins in the world, Falun, Sweden is home to the Great Pit. Named a UNESCO World Heritage Site for not only its town center and surrounding landscape, but its monumental copper mine, Falun. At its peak in the 17th century, Falun produced an outstanding two-thirds of all the copper in the Western world. That's a lot of metal, but it's also a lot to preserve. Enter Sweco, the architecture and engineering consultancy company, which plans and designs the sustainable communities and cities of the future, also deals in the past. This year, Sweco is tasked with collecting survey data on settlements, or areas where the ground is settled following the collapse of the mine in 1687, as well as overall shifts in the earth above the mine structure. When these shifts occur, they can make certain areas prone to collapse, an event that would have drastic consequences. In other words, Sweco can't afford to fail. But this year, they're armed with a secret weapon, the MD LiDAR 3000 DL AAS from Micro Drones. Using LiDAR scanning drone technology enables Sweco to safely collect point cloud topography and photogrammetry data. With thorough data and insights, Sweco and its partners can ensure this cultural relic remains safe for years to come. I'm Ricardo Swall and uh, I'm the sales manager of uh, Microdrones at 5D Technique here in Sweden. The reason for this uh, mission is to monitor settlements in the ground because this is an old mine that has uh, mine shafts under the ground. We produce a point cloud so we can compare this point cloud to previous uh, missions we've done in the past. Hello Ricardo. Yeah. Nice, nice to see you. So, what's the plan for today, guys? This is a good spot to start, you think? This is where you normally start from? Yeah, we think so. This is one of the takeoff locations, but we also need to have one on the other side. I guess you could put the base maybe over there. Yeah, we have a great yeah. spot there, yeah, yeah, of course. And after we put up the base, we should put up, uh, check the GCPs if they're still there. Yeah, maybe we need to paint them or, or yeah. measure them again, of course. Yeah. And, yeah, nice. I think that sounds like a plan. Uh, let's let's start with set up the base. We decided to go with the MD Lighter 3000 GL AAS. We get a dense point cloud and we could never achieve this with uh, normal survey. To be a part, to assess the current status of the mine is truly motivating, especially with the method and technology we are doing it with. To perform it with traditional service, it wouldn't only have been dangerous but also impossible. It is extra important to plan and set up the flight to cover the whole area, not only in horizontal but also in vertical extent. You have the map, Rickard? Yeah, I have the map. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's get started with the planning. So you should we fly the whole area as one mission or two missions or what do you think guys? I, I think we cover the pit on one flight. Yeah. But we got a problem maybe to get uh, enough points down in the pit. Yeah, because it's so high up from the yes. ground. Yeah. I suggest we do the whole uh, flight in once with train follow. And then maybe afterwards we do a second flight on a lower height just above the pit. Yeah, denser, that sounds good. Yeah. So we get a denser point cloud in the pit, down in the bottom of the pit. Yeah. Because That's the height great, variations yeah. is almost 100 meters. So I think we can perform about three or four flights from this spot. Yeah. And then we maybe need to yeah. move to the other side. Yeah, exactly. We set this the road settings. We have a vertical speed of 1.5 yeah. meter per second. Yeah. And five meter per seconds horizontal yeah. speed. We can start with that and maybe change it if we need to change it. Mm -hmm. Face safe mm -hmm. actions. What do we have? We have an emergency return altitude of 50 meters. I think it will be working yeah. fine. No yeah. obstacles in that height. Yeah. And uh, we. I should go on the continue on their RC yeah. loss action. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. I think we will start with this area, I think it's... Then we have 
The altitude, let's say 80 meters. Try 80 meters. The biggest challenge uh, my team is facing on these missions is uh, the large height variations. It's almost 100 meters from the top to the bottom. However, the gap is too steep and narrow to fly transverse trips with the same altitude. If we fly at the same altitude, we get inconsistent data in the point cloud. So we have to perform flights of different altitudes from two different spots. From the first spot, we will fly a little bit higher altitude to collect data of the surrounding area. From the second takeoff location, we'll fly a little bit lower to collect data lower in the pit.